This is Boxing Talk 8576. I want to talk about the matchups I would like to see in the upcoming year of 2014. I would like to see Bradley versus Mayweather. Bradley earned the right to fight Floyd Mayweather. They need to make the fight happen. Mr. Face of Boxing, a.k.a. Floyd Mayweather Jr., make the fight happen. Give Bradley a chance at the title. It would be a great fight. Y'all can do some, they can do some cross promotion with HBO and Showtime. Um, everybody can make a lot of money in this fight. Don't tell me Bradley can't sell tickets and can't sell the fight and all this stuff. Bradley comes with a lot of controversy as far as a lot of his matchups. He just beat uh, Juan Manuel Marquez. He beat Manny Pacquiao. He beat a lot of great fighters and some good fighters. So he's undefeated. You can sell that. Somebody owe must go or something, you know. But this fight can sell. Um, he will pose some problems for Mayweather. You know, he got foot speed, hand speed. You know, he can move his um, body, his upper body very well. He comes to fight. He's going to be in tip-top shape. He's, this is probably about the only fighter I can see that's going to be just on the same playing field as Mayweather coming in shape. But So this fight should happen in 2014. I'd like to see Danny Garcia versus Ruslan Pavaknikov. Ruslan Pavaknikov had a great war with Timothy Bradley. He just beat Mike Alvarado, stopped him, uh, knocked him down a couple times. He has a, you know, a version of the 140-pound championship, but Danny Garcia is recognized as the 140-pound champion, lineal champion. Uh, I think it'd be an interesting fight. It could, you could put it on the um, Bradley and Mayweather undercard. That'd be great. You know, put some beef on that um, undercard. You know, beef up the undercard, and let's have some um, some great fights. I would like to see Danny. No, no. I would like to see Mikey Garcia versus either Nito versus Nito Donaire, or you know, you could put Nito Donaire. Nito no Nito Donaire. Versus uh, Rigney, y'all, too. I would like to see that matchup. I would like to see uh, what Donaire would do in, his, in the second fight. I would like to see if he's going to come, what kind of game plan will he come for this fight. Because, you know, there's no excuses. I mean, I like Donaire. I thought he was going to win the fight. You know, I know a lot of people say uh, Rigney, you he has an amateur style. But no, 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 Donaire knew he had that style. So you got to come with the right game plan. I don't know what game plan he came with last time. He didn't make any adjustments in the fight. So now you've been in the ring with the guy. You should come with the right game plan because I, I believe uh, Donair can beat uh, Rigonial, but he has to come with the right uh, game plan. You know he's you know he's a patient fighter. He don't throw a whole lot of punches. He moves around the ring real good. He has great defense. So just come with the right game plan. I would like to see. Uh, Bradley, no, 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 I said Bradley Mayweather. I would like to see um, Pacquiao fight uh, Ruslan if uh, Danny Garcia and, and uh, Ruslan don't fight. How about Pacquiao and Ruslan? That would be a crazy fight, bar burner. That that would be a knockout. No one will um, come out of that fight. That would not go 12. That that would be a knockout. If uh, Pacquiao can get past Brandon Rios, that would be a knockout because... These two fighters gonna come straight at each other. I mean, fix the cuffs. I know they have sparred before in the past. Um, Ruslan has been in um, camp with uh, Manny Pacquiao, getting ready for fights, and um, Freddie Roach trained both of these fighters. So I don't know, maybe the fight will happen, but I mean, it should happen. I mean, come on, forget that old. You know, uh, we know Freddie Roach gonna go with uh, Pacquiao anyway, so that's his main fighter. So the fight can happen. Uh, how about Keith Thurman versus the winner of uh, Marcus Maidana, Adrian Broner? I would like to see Keith, Thur Keith Thurman versus Adrian Broner. Broner. Uh, Keith Thurman is up and coming. Keith Thurman is, is, is on fire. He's going to fight Soto Carras on the um, undercard of Marcus Maidana and Broner. So why not the winner of that fight, the, those, those two fights, if Brona get past uh, Marcus Maidana, Keith Thurman get past 
Soto Carras. Let's put that fight together. That that's a bar burner. Two young undefeated fighters. I got Keith Thurman winning, but you know it'll be a great great fight. You know um, we'll see what Adrian Broner is really made of when he fight a boxer puncher. You know and the style that Keith Thurman has. You know being been able to move and um, punch. It's, it it'll be like Pauli Maninaji with uh, power. You know Keith Thurman he can box. And punch, he goes to the body very well. Just like Pony Maninaji was going to the body of uh, Broner. Imagine if he getting hit by Keith Thurman to the body and to the head. And it will be no plan in the ring like you can't hit me like you were saying against Pony Maninaji because Keith Thurman will be bringing the pain. He showed in his last fight against uh, Diego Chavez that he can make adjustments in the ring because he did make an adjustment in the ring. He um he came out exchanging with uh Diego Chavez. They came out exchanging hard punches, and then he went to boxing and 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 stopped Diego Chavez. It hit him to the body, dropped him, and then finished him off to the head. So that'll be a great fight. You know, we should just it should be a lot of great matches in 2014. It's a lot of options out there. I mean, we don't know if Mayweather gonna fight Bradley. If he don't fight Bradley, he may fight Danny Garcia. That's what I think. I think he's looking at uh, Danny Garcia. I think he might fight Danny Garcia um, and make an excuse why he not going to fight Tim Bradley. He's probably going to say, well, you know, he's with Bob Arum and me and Bob Arum. Don't nobody want to hear all that, man. Make the fight happen. Uh, Danny Garcia deserves to fight. He he deserves the, the, uh, to fight you, but... Bradley, I think Bradley deserves to fight before Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia can probably fight you for your second fight in 2014, but I think Bradley should fight fight you um, in May. And um, let's get some other great fights together. And um, just, you know, it has to be better than 2013. You know, 2013 has been great so far. we got a couple more fights to go, but 2014, we should just... Keep it rolling. Keep getting um, great, great fights that the fans want to see, that the fans demand. And, you know, if it, if we're going to have these pay-per-views, you know, beef up the undercards like they did this last undercard with, May, with Mayweather and Canelo, how they put all those great fights on the undercard. And just keep keep doing that just in case, you know, because sometimes the main event fight is not the best fight. The undercards, because of the, those guys are hungry and they want recognition, you know, the fights are... Usually better. This is Boxing Talk 8576. I'm out.